Singapore's productivity growth, or rather the lack of it, has been talked about a lot in recent years. Why? Because productivity growth helps keep our economy growing. That's why I'm here, in Germany. Simply put, productivity is the amount of output you can get from a certain unit of input. So the more productive you are, the more of this you get from this. For a country, this is usually its wealth or gross domestic product, its GDP. And how does a country create wealth? Through the efficient use of its raw materials, labor, skills, technology, intellectual property, and so on. Now, when people talk about productivity, they're usually talking about this. Labor productivity. The amount of wealth that an average worker, like you or I, could produce in a given time. The best measure of labor productivity? GDP per hour worked. According to the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics, an American works an average of 1,758 hours a year. In Australia, they put in about 1,715 hours. In the UK, even less, 1,637 hours a year. Germany, 1,411 hours. Now in Singapore, we work 2,409 hours a year, more than most developed countries. More than a hundred years of business research tells us we are most productive when we work only 40 hours per week. That means being able to knock off at 5 p.m. every day. So why haven't we wrapped yet, guys? So yes, one more time. Okay, let me explain. Let's say I work here, brewing tea for a living. Let's also say that in two hours, I can brew 10 pots of tea, or five pots an hour. Then let's say my manager makes me work another two hours. I would have to make another 10 pots of tea in those two hours to maintain my current level of productivity. But that would be highly unlikely. I'd probably make less than 10 pots of tea in those extra two hours. So, have I made more pots of tea? Yes, but my productivity, the number of pots per hour, has actually fallen. Germany's high productivity is not solely powered by its focus on technology and innovation. It's also powered by its people. Wuga is a five-year-old startup that develops social and mobile games. Those are the kinds you play on Facebook or on your phone. I'm here to meet Gitta Blatt, who is the head of their Feel Good team. Her job? To make sure that Wuga's 250 plus employees are happy to work here. I get why people would enjoy working here. And not just because they play games in the middle of a work day. <laughs> Wuga seems to make an active effort towards engaging their employees and gives them control over their work life. And I think that makes a real difference to Wuga's balance sheet. Now we can't just take Germany's methods for boosting productivity and import them wholesale. But there are one or two principles I managed to pick up. First, invest in capital and technology. Automation that increases the quality of your product can generate demand and create better jobs in the economy. And second, invest in your people, not just in their skills, but also in their spirit. Your bottom line will be better for it.